Hey Chip, my name is Greg and we connected on the Assisted Living Facebook group. I said that I would uh, uh, make a video for anyone who was interested uh, to show them what they might be able to do uh, with their website to attract uh, more attention and uh, more uh, potential customers uh, finding uh, their business on the internet. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick overview here, Chip. <clears throat> Uh, it's really all about beating your, your your competition to the to the uh, to the top of Google. If you're not in the first three results um, and in the map pack, you're missing out on ninety percent of traffic. Okay, um, there's a great opportunity to to really get a lot of free organic traffic finding your business um, if you do your 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 website optimi optimization uh, correctly. Now you might ask yourself why I'm why I'm doing this. Well, I know that many uh, many business owners are busy, um, busy in the business of running the business, but don't always have time to to think about growing uh, as much as they want to, or they can't find the expertise uh, or the people that they trust to help them with this work. So by doing this video for you, by giving away this free information that is actionable that you could use starting tomorrow, I hope to build trust. And perhaps you'll come back to me at some point and say, uh, Greg, I, I, I would like your help to um, to implement some of these suggestions. So without further ado, um, yeah, we look at three things here, content, backlinks, and citations. Content, words and images, quality and quantity. Backlinks, this is Google's popularity contest. How many other sites link to your site? Those links can drive power and trust to your site and allow Google to rank you up. The third thing being citations, the number of times your business is listed in, in on a directory, both national or local. These three things together allow Google to give you a trust, authority, and relevance score. Google cares very much about their customers' experience, their search customers' experience. They take great measures to make sure that what they surface to their customers uh, is going to answer their questions. Okay, So um, that's the purpose of, of, of all of this work, authority, trust, and relevance. Let's go ahead and take a look at content, Chip. So here I am looking at your website. And um, there are a couple of things that we will talk about. Oh, the first thing, really important. Okay, you can see here that your website, uh, I know that it's been up for about a year and a half, but uh, it's not currently secure. So I, I have seen so many sites that are not secure actually be stolen. They can be taken over and usually redirected somewhere, somewhere else for nefarious reasons. So really, if you get nothing out of this video, please do that. That's super important. Anyway, onto content. So there are a couple of things that I care about and you should care about. Anyone that has a business should care about. Uh, the first thing is aesthetics. So you have two seconds to catch the, the attention of any potential customer landing on your site. Okay. Um, it's got to be engaging. It's got to be relevant. It's It's got to give them a reason to continue to, to look through the rest of your site. Now, it's not necessarily about offering a promotion, but it's about it's about uh, the image or the words that you that you put up. The first thing that they say that grabs their attention and gets them reading more. Okay, that's just what I wanted to say on aesthetics. Um, but Google doesn't care about aesthetics, quite frankly. What they care about is content, quality, and quantity. They care about quantity because if you can write enough about your domain, uh, uh, they will assume that you are authoritative in that domain. And secondly, they will assume that somewhere in all the words you've written is the answer that, that their customers are searching for. Okay, So the rule of thumb here, and it really does depend on who we're up against in Google. But anyway, the, the, the rule of thumb is at least 1,500 words on the homepage. Here's your homepage. And I think we're looking at it maybe 150 words. So you know, really, the, the, the importance of this um, to your customers is Give them an opportunity to learn about you because you know they're going through a life change, um, and they, they want to be able to, to get every question answered to prevent them from bouncing elsewhere looking for those answers. Um, on every service page, uh, uh, for every service that you offer, um, you want at least an, an additional five hundred words. Okay, um, again, it's all about um, uh, Google understanding your authority in this area and providing answers to your customers. Now that's on that's on quantity. Quality is important. By quality, I mean the the uh, the keywords that you write into your content. Keywords um, are those phrases and words that your potential customers are using when they search Google for your services. Let me give you an example. So I typed in uh, uh, assisted living, some uh, uh, surprise Arizona or surprise AZ, 
Um, and this is a very common uh, keyword structure. Um, it's what I call a buyer intent location-based keyword. It is buyer intent because it simply states the services that I'm looking for. It doesn't state, uh, for example, how much does assisted living cost? That's a research question, not a buyer intent question. So we're looking for buyer intent questions that are location-based because your customers in Surprise Arizona are looking for services in, Ari in Surprise Arizona, right? So you want to target these keywords. So the strategy here is to figure out all the keywords, all the possible iterations of this phrase that your potential customers are using to find you. You then write that those phrases into your content so that Google can make a match between what is in your uh, what is on your website and the phrases that their customers are using to find you. If you don't have these words in there, you're not going to be found. Let me um, let me give you a, a deeper dive on this. So here we are. I'm looking at, at uh, this is a tool that I have um, uh, super useful. Gives me analytics uh, for any website. Here I am looking at your website here. Um, now I know that it's been up for a year and a half, um, so it's fully indexed by Google. Here are some things that I want to point out to you that are very important. Firstly, your website currently attracts zero organic traffic as it is, okay? Uh, so we definitely want to change that. Um, but the reason for this is you're currently indexed to zero keywords, okay? So none of those very important keywords that your customers are using are mentioned anywhere in your site or enough that Google picks them up. But I'm going to contrast, I'm going to give you a contrast. I'm going to, I'm going to show you um, another, uh, one, of, one of the results that showed up. I think it was, I think it was this one. Oh, this one. One of the results that um, that I pulled out of um, of my search uh, was Heritage Communities uh, Orchard Point Orchard Point Sunrise. <clears throat> now they are getting 146 organic visitors to their site per month. Now I guess the question that we we, we ask ourselves is uh, how big is your facility? How many uh, how many inquiries do you need a month? And what is your conversion rate from inquiries down to residents? Is 146 what 146 change things for you? Would it get you a capacity? Now, we're talking about keywords. So they have 134 keywords written into their site. Let me show you exactly what we're talking about here in a way that we do it right. Um, so they have, um, they are using these location-based buyer intent keywords, the exact one I used. Assisted living, Sunrise, Arizona. 150 people using that search phrase. Um, uh, here is the same key, oh no, this is slightly different. Assisted living in Sunrise, Arizona, 90 people searching for that, okay? Uh, assisted living, uh, su uh, not Sunrise, sorry, Surprise, Arizona, um, and so on and so forth. So the strategy here is to pick the keywords that match your services in your location with the highest possible volume and the lowest possible um, difficulty to compete against. This is a difficulty number, it goes from one to 100. Really, we pick the lowest possible difficulty and the highest possible volume, and we really focus our efforts and our content around those keywords. That is very effective to get you ranked. Um, all right, so that's content, quality, and, uh, and quantity. I'm going to move on quickly here. Uh, backlinks, the number of times your website is linked to from another website. If Google trusts those websites, they will then, by association, trust you. And that trust drives power to your site and allows Google to rank you up. Now. Look, there's an opportunity here because heritage communities um, in Surprise are getting all this traffic. They're using keywords in a pretty good way, um, but you know they're very weak on backlinks. Um, I normally see you can normally see dozens here, even into the hundreds, um, and they only have three. The strategy here is to figure out all those domains that that would agree to link with you. Okay, this is a process of reaching out to those domains uh, individually, one by one, making a request paying sometimes and registering your sites so that they link back to you okay but it's a very powerful process uh, when done correctly so we would want to do that the, the third thing that we're talking about here as you as you recall is citations so the number of times your your business is mentioned in directories now it's a simple process here again it's a one by one reach out to these directories but you want to figure out what those directories are figure out which ones your customers um, are, are listed in and then and then beat that number by about 100. Really, it's a volume game. And by doing that, it gives your site power, but also gives you an opportunity to win the map pack. And this is extremely powerful because many customers, most uh, today, well, it depends on the niche, are using their mobile phones to do searches. And being in the map pack, map pack allows them to directly call you from their phone 
um, very little friction in that process there. So you really want to win the map pack and you want to win one of these top spots here. All right, Chip. So um, I've given you a lot of information. I hope that it's useful to you. Uh, I'm going to send this video to you now and I would love for you to, to share some feedback uh, with me. Is it useful? Um, and more than that, if you feel like you'd like to implement some of these strategies, you feel like you could um, really benefit from from a lot more traffic without having to rely on on Aegis Living or, or, or Caring or, or any of those other directories, which again is friction for your customers in finding you, you know, I'm, 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 I'm always available to talk. So do feel free to reach out to me, Chip. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for the opportunity to shoot this for you. And uh, I wish you the best.